Hi, 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 ladies! Happy Thursday! It's Sylvia with Heavenly Makeup here. So, I want to talk today about the oily skin and how you can help your makeup to stay on a little longer. So, um, if you see the live, please comment live. If you don't see that, um, that app, uh, please just comment replay. Hi Agnieszka, how are you? So let's start and let's talk about the oily skin. So I am really dealing with very oily skin and living in California with that very dry climate, it's not helping because the dry air, it's drying out. <laughs> it's drying out my skin and that's when my skin really over, it's overproducing the oiliness. So. I already cleaned my face and I just put my moisturizer and I'm gonna start today, not with primer, I'm gonna start with the setting spray. So we're gonna spray it on the face to build that base base for the makeup. So with the setting spray, we're just gonna do three, maybe four squirts. You just wanna make sure that it really hits your face and you're gonna let it dry. So that way, it's really gonna build that. So the setting spray, it's, it's to help your makeup stay in place. And in this case, you are making sure that whatever normally would come out from your, your face, from your skin, it's gonna kind of stay. It's not gonna come out. It's not gonna mix with your makeup. And that way, it's gonna really help your makeup to stay. So I'm just letting it to dry, I still feel like it's wet. And I'm gonna put right now my primer, as I always do, so as, as I always just little it. Goes very long way, so this is enough for my face. And you wanna start with applying to the areas where the most oiliness of course, so it's usually the forehead, the nose, the side, and just tap it all over your face. So the primer will kind of fill all those poor small wrinkles, those small gaps, and make sure that your makeup that you're gonna apply will stay in place. Hi Anna, hi Irena. So still wanna give your primer about 30 seconds, 40 seconds to, to set on your skin before we're gonna apply our foundation. So I'm not gonna wait as long, um, but you really wanna wait good 30, 40 seconds for the primer to set. And now you're gonna apply the foundation as usual. It's just a couple of drops of foundation and you're gonna apply it all over. I'm just loving my Kabuki brush, ladies. If you don't have a good foundation brush, it's really good to um, invest in one. So look around, look what you have and you can, what you can get. And if you don't know which brush will be good for the type of foundation you're using. Let me know and I'm gonna help you decide which brush will be great because depends if you are using liquid foundation or powder foundation, different foundation brushes will be good for you. So let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so my foundation is on. So we, we started with the setting spray, we put the primer, we, we let the setting spray dry, we put the primer, we let it set, we put the foundation. So um, what oiliness does to your skin, does to your, uh, to your makeup, is when skin is overproducing the oiliness, your makeup start running off. Um, so if you spend lots of time um, in the area which uh, makes your skin oven producing uh, the oiliness, like in the sun, maybe you are in um, Hayaja, um, somewhere outside sweating a lot. Like for me, 
uh, I can put my makeup on um, on any day. I'm gonna be fine. But if I go to my uh, to my work to my office, the air is extremely dry inside my office. Um, hi Agnieszka. So by the end of the day, most of the days, the oiliness starts kicking in, and I can see it. Um, so you usually are gonna see it if you like do like this with your forehead in those small lines you can see that your makeup is getting in, into the into those, those lines and that means the oil it's really kicking in and i can see it like i said i'm gonna apply my makeup this exact same way i'm gonna go out i'm gonna go shopping i'm gonna do things around home i'm gonna be fine i'm gonna go to my office to work for the eight hours on the end of the day no matter what i do my skin it's it's really gets very very oily because of the dry air okay so we did this the setting spray we did the primer we did the foundation so now what i like to do to help my skin is you use my a uh, setting uh, powder but this one like the setting spray i used all over this one i'm gonna apply only in my t-zone just to help with that oiliness and the setting powder is translucent so you can apply it all over any makeup you're, we you're wearing. Hi, Ivona. So truly that's all I do to, to keep control of my oiliness and it's working every day, except the days when I go to, go to work. So my trick that I have learned years, years, years ago, uh, back when I was still in Poland uh, from my esthetician, um, she told me, hi Ivanka, she told me if I see that the oiliness is really kicking in and I want to like remove the oiliness to keep my uh, makeup in place to avoid anything like my ma makeup running off, just take regular tissue and just push it against your skin very well, but do not rub it, just take it and push it. Just really really push it what it does all the oiliness will transfer to the tissue and your makeup will stay in place so remember do not wrap just push it and then if you have some kind of um, powder with you maybe the translucent pan uh, the setting powder you have with you you can apply a small amount of the powder to kind of make your makeup look fresh uh, but you don't have to redo the makeup because everything looks fine if you use those tricks. Um, so ladies, that's all for today. I just wanna share with you those few tricks I'm doing for myself with my oily skin and I'm still researching, I'm still trying to figure out what I can do, how I can help myself with the oiliness in my office. Like I said, the air is very, very dry. Um, hi Carolina. That the only time when I'm having issues with, with the oiliness is when I'm in, at work in the office for, um, uh, for long hours. So thank you so much for watching, ladies, and I will talk to you tomorrow again. Thank you. Bye.